Tomorrow marks Kansas City Police Chief Stacy Graves first full day in her new role and many people in our community are watching and hoping for change. Tonight we're going in depth on her historic role, her background and what the community hopes to see. KSHB 41's Megan Abundis starts our coverage. Many community groups have criticized the Board of Police Commissioners hiring process, asking why it wasn't transparent. A reminder that the Department of Justice is still investigating KCPD over claims of discrimination in its hiring practices. People we talked with tonight say they've been asked to trust the department, but are ready to verify that action. So much needs to be done in the streets of Kansas City. Let's get busy. Let's get busy. Natasha Flemons has been waiting for action. The amount of violence that we are seeing on a day to day basis is just out of control. We've heard her before. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. We've kept up with her over the past few years. My son was murdered on uh, July the 20th on 34th in Indiana. Every day I think about Devin every day. She says there haven't been any answers. What does that mean for parents and families? families like myself. The last time we talked with her, the city was going through the same thing, choosing a next police chief, just like today. Just not enough detectives to keep up with the pace. And so it's frustrating. I know for not only myself, but for other mothers and other families who are in the same position that I am. And today she's still asking for the same thing. We don't have enough detectives who can actively work the cases. And so will we ever have closure? What's next? What's next? Damon Daniel with Ad Hoc Group Against Crime sees it too. A less than satisfactory, and that's being nice, uh, solve rate. His group is the bridge between the police, the criminal justice system, and the community. He wants to see reduced KCPD lawsuits and settlements, overhaul the use of force, and community repair. I would love to see a community accountability task force be put in place that works in conjunction with the Office of Community Complaints, as well as the prosecutor's office to make Make sure that nothing gets swept under the rug. I find it difficult to believe that real change is going to happen if we continue to see the same things happen. What can be done? What can be done? I think that Kansas City needs to give Stacey a chance, um, and I hope that uh, they will. Megan Abundes, KSHB 41 News.